Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Let's take a quick look at the SPY as we've had this very unusual pattern where the market dropped 8% in three trading sessions. But then over the next two weeks, it recovered all of that loss. The all-time high is up here at 565. That was reached last month on July 16th. And I think there's a pretty good chance of the market going up there again, just because of how strong this recent bull channel has been. And as usual, unless a trend is broken, the price will likely continue to trade in that channel. In this case, it's a bull channel. However, this is a major resistance zone between 555 and 558 because previously that is where the market sold off. And if we draw a Fib retracement from the highs to the recent low, we can see right now the market has gone back up to the 786 and even closed Friday above it. So for today, Monday, if we see continued follow through, then there's no reason to be bearish because the bulls will very likely try to push this up to 565 again, which was the previous all time high. However, if we don't get follow through and we get a lower close, especially if it closes below this channel, then that could be a potential bearish signal. So right now, I don't have any trades in play because it could really go either way. But basically above this level, 556, that is when I would be bullish again, but if it drops out of this channel first before it reaches that level, then that is when I would consider making bearish trades. And it would be really bearish if it goes below 540 because the original downward channel, and we have a few points to guide us, looks something like this. So if prices were to fall, it would likely be attracted to this area, which also would coincide with all of the exponential moving averages, which are these colored lines going across the chart here. It could also just consolidate between 550 and 556, but that's less likely to happen because usually in a topping process, which I believe is what the market is going through right now, you do tend to get a lot more volatility, which is why in the recent month, if you compare the size of these candles or basically their length, they're usually longer than earlier trading days of the year. So that's it for now. Good luck with your investments and I'll give another update soon.